Hello, I am Srijit from the finance and accounting area. A key focus area of my research is creditor rights and how they affect the credit environment. Assessment of creditor rights in an economy has typically been seen as a de jure problem, that is measuring the level of legal protection available to creditors. However, assessment of de facto creditor rights, that is the actual on the ground protection that they receive, is a trickier empirical problem. I develop a novel structural model based approach for assessment of the de facto creditor rights in an economy. Brockman and Turtle's barrier option framework allows one to calculate implied barrier levels using equity prices. I establish that the sensitivity of these implied barrier levels to firm leverage is a good measure for de facto creditor rights in an economy. I then apply this novel technique in an empirical context. The implementation of the Indian Bankruptcy Code in 2016, or the IBC as it's commonly known, was a landmark event in the Indian credit environment. However, even after six years after its implementation, debate abounds as to whether it has had any real impact on creditor rights. Proponents point towards big ticket cases where equity holders, errant equity holders, have been divested of their assets by creditors and showcase this as the success of the IBC. Detractors talk about long resolution timelines and low recovery rates and say that the IBC is just old wine in a new bottle. I try to use my novel technique to answer this question empirically. I find compelling evidence of a strong across the board increase in creditor rights, de facto creditor rights in the economy post the implementation of the IBC. Next, I look at how have borrowers responded to this loss of bargaining power. On average, I find that leverage has decreased possibly due to the higher risk of bankruptcy or higher cost of bankruptcy in the post-IBC world. However, this decrease in leverage is not uniform. I find that higher, highly levered borrowers have indeed reduced their leverage to stave off bankruptcy. On the other hand, borrowers who had less debt have increased their leverage, possibly taking advantage of uh, increased willingness to lend on behalf of the creditors in the post-IBC world. Overall, I formulate a novel theoretical approach for the assessment of de facto creditor rights in the economy and apply it in an empirical context to understand the effect of the IBC on the Indian credit environment.